AITA for wanting a bit of space for my daughter after I discovered she isn't mine biologically? Original post, June 22, 2024. I'm 40, she is 16 and I've been divorced from her mother since she was about a year old. We've always had a good relationship and never had any reason to doubt she's mine. Her mother recently let it slip she might not be mine and we did a DNA test and she's right, no biological relationship whatsoever. After confronting my ex, she broke down and confessed that when we were dating, she went on a night out with her colleagues and ended up in bed with a guy she worked with. She is trying to say she was probably Drew Asterisk Ged or something as she was a lot more Dr. Asterisk and K than she should have been and woke up in bed with him with no memory of sleeping with him, she panicked and feared what I'd say, she just tried to ignore it and hoped she was mine as she always felt like she looked like me. Apparently, the biological father is some French guy who's married and has kids and I vaguely remember him from when we were together, I didn't like him, he seemed sleazy but put it down to him just being French anyway. It's foo asterisk ked me up good and proper and it also has foo asterisk ked my daughter up. It's giving me some seriously dark thoughts and I just want to take a bit of time to myself and go no contact for a short while. Not to punish her in any way or be horrible, but I just need to clear my head and get some help before I see her again. I know she isn't to blame and don't want to hurt her at all but I feel I can't be a dad to her while I'm struggling like this. She didn't take that well at all and I guess has told people and so many people are trying to get in touch, tell me what an arsehole I am and shouldn't do anything I will regret. I'm just muting everyone including her so I can think. I'm thinking of quitting my job and selling my house to go traveling for a bit and just see the world before I come back and face it all. Could even take a trip to France if you know what I mean? Ada for taking the space and not having contact with her in the meantime? Ada has no consensus bot, but OOP received mixed reactions of NTAs and YTAs. Relevant comments. OOP on the future relationship with his daughter after finding out. OOP. Yes, I know she's my daughter and I love her to bits, but I can't be a dad to her while I'm going through what I'm going through and just ignore it. It's not going to be forever, just until I sort my head out. OOP on getting therapy for himself and his daughter in order to help grasp on what happened and not sharing with the families and friends yet. OOP. Oh. Yeah. Therapy slash counseling will be a must. I need to get out my job anyway, I've been there for years and people know me so much and keep in asking questions about me, my family etc, as colleagues do, and it's hurting me to just talk about it. Ars flow. It's a shit situation and I'm sorry you're going through it, but you're her dad, you've helped raise her. This doesn't change that. You don't get time off from being a parent. You have to work through this on your own time. You can't abandon her. She will need you more than ever right now. You have to think about her before yourself. Update, June 29th, 2024, one week later. So basically, I tried to key asterisk asterisk myself after the last post, took an OD. So stupid me didn't have enough painkillers and made the mistake of sending my mom a text about where my keys are and where she'd find me and it was the one day she was actually looking at her phone as she received the text so panicked and rang 999 quickly. I was rushed to hospital, had my stomach pumped and sent home with antidepressants after a couple of days, I haven't taken them though. My GP has called me and referred me for NHS talking therapies so I have a hefty wait just to be seen. I'm staying with my parents for now so they can keep their eyes on me. I dare say they're not very happy with me. Especially my dad as it was his brother's funeral on Monday and he missed that due to me being in hospital. They know all about the situation with my daughter and don't care, especially my mom. She said she's her granddaughter no matter what and keeps talking about how her brother slash my late uncle took on his partner's son and he's her nephew in her eyes, in fact she said he's always been one of her favorite ones. And my cousin adopted his wife's son while she was pregnant and she said he's her nephew too in the ways that matter. Although they were aware of it from the start. As regards to my daughter, it's baby steps. She came to see me in hospital and we had a moment together. She's staying at my house now looking after it until I come home. No doubt we'll have a chat soon in greater detail. Her mom slash my ex has family healthcare and my daughter is covered by it so she's getting her into private therapy. I think it's the least she can do for her. I still don't 100% believe my ex about being Drew Asterisk Ged or anything. She's a hell of a liar. But not just Billy bullshitter stuff, we're talking politician level bending the truth and making you look like a fool for believing her, in fact. When we split up I told her she should be a politician and she thought I was being harsh. Plus, I always remember this stupid argument we once had where she said sometimes women are pushed to cheat and the husband is as responsible as they are for pushing them to it. I remember at the time being foo asterisk king stumped, in my eyes now, that was like some sort of foreshadowing. I was too stupid to see it though. My head is still in a mess though. As much as I love my daughter, I'm having some foo asterisk ked up emotions and feelings. The main one that breaks my heart is that had I found out saying when she was a baby, toddler etc I might have walked away. 
but I couldn't now as I love her too much, and it makes me feel guilty that I'd have walked out and left her as a baby and miss out on all the amazing stuff we've been through. The therapy can't come soon enough. Relevant comments. KitKatness2414, your feelings are allowed to be complicated and in some ways unfair. OOP. I will say to be fair to myself when I wrote that I was still in shock and very vulnerable, and very dr asterisk and k2, and wasn't in a place to receive any sort of advice or criticism. I won't say I'm not any of those still but I've had the previous week and all the events to help me process now so I'm thinking clearer. That's not to say people weren't awful though even though they were offering advice. For all the people they're trying to be reasonable and getting me to understand, there were three to four others being absolutely brutal and would not let up heaping their shit on me and then mocking me even when I was sue asterisk asterisk idol. Story 2, Ada for not sharing my reception with my older sister. Me and my partner are doing a renewing our vows is a few weeks. My older sister got married in court a week ago only telling three people then dropping it on Facebook. Everyone asked where her reception will be and she said she send out invitations soon. Yesterday, I visited my mom with her since I can't drive due to medical reasons. On the drive there she bring up her wedding and say she can't afford a reception. She drag on about the entire 45 minute drive there about it. I just stayed quiet as I knew what was doing. We had a good visit with my mom and left. On the way back she starts talk about me renewing my vows and how lucky I am to afford it. About 15 minutes into the drive she comes up with idea of doing a double reception so she can celebrate her marriage with everyone at the same time. I told her no as she wouldn't be able to contribute to it and I wasn't going to front the cost for her. She acted like I didn't say anything and just started talking about changes I need to make to fit both of us and a fair split guest list. I just said I will not be sharing my reception with you. By the time she dropped me off she had a plan to entirely change the reception to her liking. I just told her I will not even invite her if she continues to push for this. She just says okay and speeds off. Today I woke up to an invite to her reception same time and place as mine on Facebook. She even post about how kind I was to give her the chance to celebrate her marriage with everyone. I replied to the post saying that I never agree to that and she wouldn't even be allowed there anymore. Some people are now calling me. Ah. Uh. For not just sharing the reception hall. It's a splite between my family on if I'm in. Ah. Uh. Or if my sister is overstepping. TLDR, my sister want to take over my reception and I refuse to share and even I'm paying for. I have several people saying I'm the. Ah. Uh. As it's not my wedding only renewing vows and she can't afford a reception after her court wedding. Am I the. Ah. Uh. For not sharing the reception with her. Edit. I have security already and have an in-person meeting today day after post, with them to discuss the guest list and the possible ability of the uninvited one. Security was already part of the plan even before this incident due to other unkind family members who are not invited so what's adding one more? The only reason I still talk to my sister is for my mother's sake and I will continue to be low contact with her unfortunately. Thank you for your kind worlds. I was starting to to think I might just be. Ah. Uh. But then realize most people who are saying are people who wouldn't have been invited in the first place. I will update after the reception as there's several people requesting it. Ada has no consensus bot. OOP was NTA. Give me awards, NTA. Your sister is out of line trying to hijack your special day for her own benefit. It's your vow renewal, not a joint celebration. She needs to learn boundaries and respect your decisions. Stand your ground. Gastropodia 42, NTA. A lot of people just have reception at home or a potluck in a park. She can have her own reception. She just wants to steal yours. Update, June 28, 2024. Update the vow renewal ceremony went long so we were behind showing up to receptions. The shuttle showed up just in time to see security, stopping my sister, without her husband, and other uninvited guests getting ID. I asked my party to stay back a minute as I didn't want to overwhelm the security. Granted to say it turned into a bit of entertainment. She had a couple hundred dollar dress and was trying overwhelm the security with just the amount of people. The guard had quite a voice and yell loudly that anyone who is here for Dig's sister reception is in the wrong place and will not allowed in unless they were on the guest list. A large group of her party just walked away. My big sister starts demanding to speak to the manager and how dare he scare people off. The manager show up alongside more security. My sister puts on her best crying act ever, but the manager just say she and her guest has five minchus to leave the property or the police will be involved. She storms off screaming about how it was unfair and how much money she wasted on a dress for this night. The rest of the night was uneventful and was really chill. The staff and security got a very good tip and any leftover alcohol or food they wanted. I hope that was the end of that but this morning I get a money request for 400 US dollars from my sister saying if I don't pay she will sue me. I have a lawyer so this is of no concern to me because she wouldn't have grounds to stand on. 
I swear she getting worse with time and needs some mental help. I'm in limiting contact with her to email and only in regard to my mom's care. Relevant comments. Critical where 5802. Just out of nosiness. How many uninvited guests of sisters showed up? Trying to figure out the size of her entitlement. OOP. She had six family members that I didn't invite and seven of her friends. So 13 in total that showed up. The reception hall was only rated for 25 people. Mysterious Anae 67. Too bad you can't get a restraining order against her. The entitlement and harassment are off the charts with your sister. OOP. If it wasn't for needing to stay in contact for my mother's care then I probably would have one.